Hello out there YouTube community, it is Josh here with another video and since I love to go out of my way to irritate commie liberals, as if you've been watching my Dark Age Camelot videos, everyone involved in that little conspiracy is a liberal hypocritical cat, crap like Joe Biden. Um, today's video we're going to talk about engine efficiency. Uh, being a mechanic on the side for many years and growing up in a salvage yard, uh, I know exactly how an internal combustion engine operates. So that's why I know that uh, climate change is a hoax and that carbon dioxide is not dangerous to the environment. Uh, my 2015 Malibu that um, the rogue progressive agent slash Allstate agent that works out at Preston Chevy, the Mr. Robert, who goes by Drew at the dealership for some reason, even though his legal name is Robert because that's his email, uh, decided to total out my car. Uh, my car is actually a PZEV status. Um, so I went ahead and decided to pull it up on Google. And as you can see, while I'm pulling it up, I am wearing my favorite shirt to show off to liberals. And it's the American dream with Barack Hussein, Hitler, and the rest in the prison gear they deserve. A PZEV is classified as the cleanest running gasoline powered car on the market and was developed to meet the air quality standards of the Socialist People's Republic of California, a liberal Democrat controlled shithole, the most stringent in North America. A PZEV vehicle must meet the super ultra low emission standard uh, emissions vehicle tailpipe standard and have zero evaporative emissions. If I can get the camera to focus in. I added some to that myself because California is a liberal, hypocritical, crack controlled shithole. But I wanted to do this video at night because traffic is a little bit lower in my area during the nighttime hours. So it'll be safer for me to show you how this works. Yeah, that's a double keyed entry deadbolt. You ain't smashing my windows and getting in my house. Now, a lot of PZEV vehicles will have the PZEV logo on it. My Malibu actually does not. Um, my Malibu only has a little Eco badge because GM didn't even call it a PZEV badge. They called it an Eco Trib in 2015 for economy. All right, but I got a, a little holder here for my phone that mounts into the. Uh, mounts into my heater vents. I picked it up at Best Buy from Skosh. Or no, no, the Skosh one I picked up at Target. I'm sorry. That's right. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and kill the music for a minute. Right. Now, this is a wireless charging uh, holder but uh, I don't use the wireless charging so you can see I cut the wire to it so I don't need the wire dangling in my interior now all US all US sold vehicles since 1995 so 96 model year to current have onboard diagnostics generation 2 all right and there are a variety of apps that you can download for Android, probably for iPhone too, if iPhones can ever actually get service uh, to use them. The app that I took in particular is a service that I do pay a subscription fee for. Okay, it is the OBD Auto Doctor app. It's fairly uh, detailed. It does require an onboard diagnostics Bluetooth adapter to plug into your service port on your car, which is usually mounted under your dash. All right, so I got the engine warming up now as we speak. 
On a cold start, it's usually good to let your engine idle for a couple minutes to get oil up into your cylinder head, especially with engines being dual overhead cams or single overhead cams typically for better spark plug positioning inside the combustion chamber. As gravity, physics, oil all comes down to the oil pan and your camshafts are typically only with a film of oil. Okay, so here's what you're looking at currently on my phone. All right, I got my fuel pressure, calculated engine load, air mass airflow, ignition timing, relative throttle position, which because it's actually at a little bit higher idle because the engine's cold, so it's gonna be open a little bit through the idle air control valve. It's also an electronic throttle. Intake manifold absolute pressure shows inches of mercury of vacuum. Now that's what we're going to be focusing on. So I'm going to switch off the fuel pressure because your engine control module will actually check the actual barometric pressure of your area when you first turn the key on. Now right now in Ohio, our barometric pressure is 28.9 inches of mercury. For engine efficiency, while the engine is running, your intake manifold absolute pressure should be as close to that figure as possible when the engine is running at maximum efficiency. As you can see, while the engine's warming up, it's not actually running very efficient at all. It's actually wasting a lot of fuel. And that's normal. And that's actually due to the camshaft profile. Because part of the marketing with vehicles, in addition to the CAF regulations that are in, you know, instituted by the government, which is typically a result of liberal hypocritical crats, more so than us filthy capitalist conservatives, um, is performance. People like performance. We don't just like fuel economy. We like cars that are fun to drive. And to do that, that's physics. You need a camshaft with high horsepower. You're going to sacrifice your low RPM torque. You're going to sacrifice your low RPM efficiency. But as we can see, the engine is a little bit above C, so now I'm ready to take it for a drive. Which my car actually needs washed, so I think I'm going to drive with a car wash. I won't record that long, obviously, but... And uh, since I am doing this video, I am going to use the cruise control. Okay, so you can see I turned the cruise on. But I'm going to kick it up to 65 on the freeway. See, automakers, they know this. And another reason this video can be useful is a lot of people do like to tune these control modules on the cars for better performance, better efficiency. There are ways to do it. Um, if you ever go to drag strips, you'll, you'll know turbo guys typically get a tune because it boosts their power output substantially over a naturally aspirated engine. For the most part, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch the tune on your car. Let, you know, just leave the stock settings. I only know how to read this data. I don't, I don't know how to modify the tuning. I, I could if the you know, old carburetor and distributor. I know how to do that with an ignition timing light, but getting into computerized stuff, nah, that's beyond me. I'll just let GM, GM's engineers do their job. Let's see, while you're accelerating and cruising, the vacuum signal inside the manifold is going to change. Notice the barometric pressure hasn't changed outside the car, though. And actually, even while accelerating, my vacuum signal is pretty good because of the variable valve timing. So we got the cruise set at 65, we're on flat ground. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. Focus.
Okay, now efficiency wise, the efficiency on the engine isn't bad. You'll see that the barometric pressure inside the manifold is fluctuating around about 22 to 25 inches of mercury. <coughs> And that'll be due to the variable valve timing, throttle input, spark timing, all that stuff. As all of this stuff you see, if any of it changes even a little bit, it's going to change the manifold pressure because this will change the way the engine's operating. I've seen it even got up to 27. Basically, when you're cruising down the freeway or even on a city street where you are just cruising like this, you want the engine to have manifold absolute pressure as close to the actual barometric pressure as possible for maximum efficiency. So, I mean, if you know how to tune your control module to do that, more power to you. Looking at the way my car operates, if I can get... All right, I'm on some flat ground here. Yeah, looking at the instantaneous fuel economy at the speed I'm traveling, I wouldn't mess with my car. But to each their own. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.